Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating an art journal collage using some of my free printables. I will link um, them up in the description box and you can download them completely for free from my website. I'm using a laser printer for them and I just uh, print them in the original size. And I think here I have used maybe a 120 GSM paper, I think. I'm using just a glue stick to uh, adhere the papers. Um, you can use gel medium, of course. I prefer the glue stick because I can work even faster and I have no drying time. I'm working in my handmade junk art journal and I just adhere the bits and pieces on both of the pages. I have no real idea how this page will turn out. I just stick down the papers and then I will add some colors and paint and we will see what's happening. I'm now going in with some heavy gesso and I just use a spatula to apply it. Um, I don't apply it on the whole page or on the whole leftover areas, I just apply it randomly in some places. I have already prepared some acrylic paints on a sheet of copy paper and I will use those colors together with a little bit of white paint and just apply it with my fingers. I love to apply the paints with my fingers. It's more intuitive and also more playful than using a brush. When I start creating a page or when I start adding colors to the page, I often um, have a color palette in mind. I normally don't use a color and then I think about the next one. I normally choose the colors before I start. Here I have thought which colors would match the papers that are already on my page. If you want to see photos of this project, um, check my video description. There's a link to my blog and there are some photos. Also in the video description, you will find a link to my free printables. You don't have to sign up for any newsletter. They are just um, with one click to download and then you can use them. Of course, not for commercial use, just for private use. And I would really love if you use my hashtags um, so I can find you on social media if you've used the printables and leave you some nice comments. And because it's Friday, there is a brand new printable on the website today. Now I'm going in with a really tiny brush to make some marks that look a bit different in comparison to my um, finger strokes, I would say. And you can try out different ways to create marks with your acrylics. I also sometimes use my stamps um, together with the acrylics, but when you use stamps you of course have to make sure to clean them 
because you will ruin them when you let the paint dry on them. Now I'm going in with my black watercolor pencil. It's something I almost use on every art journal page. It just creates some doodles all over the page. And from time to time I dip the nib of the pencil into water to get uh, more pigment. When the background is completely dry, I go in with my oil pastels. I really enjoy playing with them because they are super opaque and you can add them on top of many different mediums. And I like to make some marks with them and add some more color. I also think together with acrylics, they give you a really artsy look and I really love the finish of them. The ones I'm having here are the cheaper ones from Faber-Castell. Um, I am pretty sure if you buy a more quality brand like the Sennelier, I have the metallics from Sennelier, they are much better. But as I already have this set, I will see if I use them regularly and then I maybe go for a more expensive set. And of course, I also use some stamps on my page here. I'm picking a rainy cloud from the In the Air stamp set. And I'm using Stays on Ink as this works best on an acrylic surface. And it also dries very fast. I'm using one of the texture stamps. I think it's from the Watergill One stamp set and it has some tiny hearts. And I use a red ink to stamp them randomly to the background.
one of my favorite stamps for a whimsical page is that star stamp it's from the textured flower stamp set and i just use it with a turquoise ink and stamp it randomly to the page I've stamped some of the loose florals from Rubber Dance to a jelly printed background and I now create a stamp for them and I will later adhere them to the page. I use gel medium to stick the flowers down because I have that oil pastel colors on the page. And when you use oil pastels in your art journal, you must fix them, otherwise they will ruin your page. So that means when you close the book, the pastels will transfer to the other side. And I don't want to lay anything between the pages, so I just add a layer of clear uh, gel medium. It's the matte medium from Liquitex and with that I adhere also the flowers. Of course as I have that black watercolor pencil on the page I have to be a little bit careful not to wipe too much with the gel over those areas. To finish the page up, I'm adding some words that are stamped with, I believe, the Believe in You stamp set. I am not 100% sure, but I will link up all the stamp sets I've used in the description box. Yes, and that's my page for today. I hope you enjoyed the process and I hope you are a little bit inspired now to create something on your own. Thank you so much for watching and I hope we see us next time. Bye!